Welcome, 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 Slimpy Pet Aries, week two, May 2021. Here I was like, oh, I have to do fire. I love usually being in fire, right? And then all that fire energy came out in the water energy. It's like, ugh, ugh. It's exhausting. Giving a shit about things sometimes. It's just, it is, I am who I am, right? And um, I do care. I do give a shit about you guys. So it's tough reading, tough energy sometimes, especially when you're just like holding yourself back. Hopefully, not you guys, right? Aries, week two. What do we got? What do we got? Aries. That's too many. Aries. All right, we have imagination and growth. All right, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So I don't know if you're doing something new here. This is telling me you want to grow um, in something with something. You know, it's, it's lesson cards. So you're either growing or not growing. You're either using your imagination or you're not. That's that's how that works, right? So if you want growth, you want evolution, you need, you need change. You need to be open-minded, okay? And embrace what your brain, your imagination. I don't know if you're fantasizing, you're seeing things, you know, who knows. But current energy for Aries, please. <sighs> unrequited love and this could be the one so again you're still in a situation of you know multiple energy being surrounded by you um this is you know it, it's just it's one-sided and then here you already met your romantic partner that you seek and remembering last week's reading how he or she feels please it makes sense that you know it's almost like this reminds me of cancer, like all the water, you know, um, where it's like one's just not enough and the other one's enough. But right now, nothing is enough. It's tough. So there's trust issues. You're worried, you know, is it safe to love? Is it not? The chemistry clearly is there. Um, but it's like, can I trust it? Can I open my hat? Do I want to be vulnerable? You know, spirits basically saying how he or she is feeling, please. Um... You know, it is it is safe. You know, and somebody else is like, yeah, see, so here's that trust thing. Like, I don't know if you're trying to control the situation, but it's time to take control back of your life. You know, there's something here that, um, you know, divine timing. I don't, I don't know if this something protected or what, but this situation is calling for you to have faith. So, <clears throat> I don't know. If this is how somebody knows you're in a situation where they know they're the one and someone else is not, and this is you being like, oh, can I trust it safe? Is it safe? Yada, yada. Um, <clears throat> what you don't see coming. So you just got to put yourself in the pile you're at. What you don't see coming or um, what you don't know. Well, it's on holy talking to you. All right. So, new love soulmate separation. <clears throat> You're not talking here. All right. So, maybe you separate from everything, move forward, and, and have something new. Possible outcome. Just <coughs> <coughs> gonna say, be careful with your health. Like my my chest is like heavy, like anxiety, like stressed out. So some of you guys are in that energy, and it's it's like don't don't do that to yourself. Possible outcome. Flirt. And we got um, 
your past, current past, two years ago, two months ago, two weeks ago, two hours ago, however it works for you. I just, I feel stress like you wouldn't believe. It's actually overwhelming me as a reader right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Very soon. So it was like, <clears throat> do I express, do I not? So you made a decision with something. So you definitely have multiple people in your life. You could be dating. You just could be in a sticky situation. Only you can get yourself out of it, clearly. Okay. Um, it's saying you've already met the romantic partner you seek, that you want, but you also have unrequited love. So maybe this is you being in love with somebody, but they don't feel the same way, or you're dealing with two people. Let's see. Unrequited love. It's, it's a one-sided scenario. Yeah. <clears throat> There's that stress. It's like you're worried about how things are going to pan out for them when you should be worried about you. That's competition. That's arguments. That's mental confliction. But to me, you already know exactly what you want. <clears throat> so you're, you're stressed out about worrying with somebody else, battling somebody else, arguing with somebody else. <sighs> you could be dealing with someone who's extremely competitive. Tell me this could be the one. Six of Swords, victory. Could be dealing with someone who's in the public eye. Got the tower that wants to come out. You might be waking up to a situation. It, it, you want to win. You want to be victorious. Um, it's it's definitely a win, though. All right? So you're definitely going within. It's, it's hermit mode, and it's like you're not saying anything. You're going within. Your wall's up. You're guarded. What you're dealing with somebody who's in the public eye is really going within, is about to block. They got their guard up. So he or she, you or them, definitely know this is the one. But this is like, this is also conflicting. Not to that point, but to the point where knowing possibly you can have something but really the other one's like really going within it so oh, it's almost like spirits like trying to shine the light like what are you doing tell me about very soon so Aries made a decision Yeah, you definitely want to balance a situation out, okay? It is, you're definitely afraid to balance a situation out. You're afraid to speak up, talk, tell someone how you feel. So clearly you were in a situation before where, you know, something wasn't mutual. You got hurt. They got hurt. Something happened. Holding on to the past. Not good. There's also a card of apologies. You could apologize to somebody. But this is a card of speaking the truth, talking, wanting to have a conversation. Um... And this right here is, with this combo, this is fear about saying what you want, how you feel, how you want to go about something. Tell me about chemistry. So if you, actually, we know what chemistry is. So it's safe for you to love. So you're afraid to put yourself in a situation where you can possibly get hurt again. You know, you're carrying the weight. You know, too, again, too many people in the picture. You know, it's like tower after tower. You know, you got the bloody tower, you got the bloody cups. It, it, it's, you know, you put yourself in a situation or they put themselves in a situation and it, it's like you had something right behind you and you're too busy focusing on pain, hurt. Is it safe? Can I be vulnerable? Do I want this? <clears throat> Justice at the bottom of the deck. So it definitely looks like 
you're leaving a situation or somebody else is leaving a situation because this is this is too many people in the equation and this is wanting to go after your happiness but not doing it because you're too focused on pain hurt past hurt getting hurt again feeling like it's not safe you can't trust it or this is somebody else that clearly realizes you know that there's too many people in the picture and your focus is elsewhere so right now they don't give a shit about the chemistry I can read it both ways. You got to figure out, you know, which one you're in. So the magician, you know, knows how to manifest, knows what they want. So tell me about free yourself. Well, you're not doing anything to free yourself, you know. Because, um, yeah, see, it's, it's like you have to, there's a finality. The world and the death card is a finality. You're trying to control a situation here. It's time to take control back to your life. You're allowing other energy to get the best of you right now. Um, and this is a finality. Like, there's no going backwards. Like, so stop doing nothing. This is like, get off your ass and do something. You know? That's that's what that is. Um, that's, that's not even showing depression that's you fighting doing nothing to to create change nothing like growth you want growth in your life get out of this free yourself i don't know you must be being guided towards something here guided to trust guided to open up this is somebody looking out for you yeah see you're, you're refusing to see something you're refusing to budge you're being stubborn. Your walls up. You don't want to be vulnerable. You, you, it's like you're refusing your own happiness, your own growth. Um, tell me about trust. So obviously you're not gonna clearly trust this situation because you're letting past pain get the best of you in your current scenario. So please work on that. Um, you know. So you got trust, you got the Ten of Pence, Prince of Wands, Three of Pence. So it's like you want to put effort into it. You want to talk about it. But but right now you're just, you're more concentrated on, you know, work, family situation. It, it's it's like your trust has already been betray, betrayed. You know, you that's just it. It's like it's hurt. Um, or you're dealing with somebody else who wanted to put the effort in, but they clearly are aware that you were staying stagnant and were more focused on other things and you know they're hurt too just have the strength take a leap of faith some i mean this is like something that's <clears throat> this is something that's like destined you gotta let that that pain go you gotta stop thinking everyone's just gonna hurt you you know you gotta have the willpower to take a leap of faith and go towards you know destiny you're being put in a situation, too, by spirit, universe, guides, wh whomever, for you to see something. And it's like you're just refusing. So what you don't see or what somebody else doesn't see or they don't want you to know, okay? Um, you got new love or this could be the one. This is somebody that's already, you've already met, okay? Soulmate. You're probably in separation from. Yeah, see, it's like you want to invest. You want to go in a new direction with this person, but you're just, yeah, you're at your crossroads. You want something solid, but you're not, you know, there's no action being taken here. This is like trying to make a decision. It looks like you already made a decision, but you're not, you're not doing anything. Oh, this energy, tell me about the tool wants, is not doing much to go after what they want, you know, so they will eventually. They got to walk away from a situation first to have that love. You know, this is a, a lose-lose for everybody right now. Tell me about the flirt. Judgment. Yeah, you definitely want a second chance with somebody. Like, there's a king of cups here that's totally in love with someone. Wants to start a new cycle. Wants a clean slate. Wants to start fresh. You know, luck is on your side. I'm not even one that believes in luck. It's luck is there. Like, it, whatever you put out comes back, you know. Um, it's the comic wheel. So that could be iffy too. Judgment, want a second chance. That could be iffy too. It's like you got to put in that inner work to get there, that strength. 
to take that leap of faith once again. It's like the balancing of the scales. <clears throat> like whatever this is, was meant to go down, is going down. Doesn't mean it had to go down this way, but that's definitely what that's saying. So, <clears throat> oh man, someone's not saying something. So if you're not talking, no. If, that's not what I was going to say. Clearly someone's not talking. You're all stressed out. Here's the problem. You're stressed out about how somebody else is going to feel about you moving forward. When you already know somebody's right for you. You already know it's like the love. The love of your life. The soulmate. You're not even with that person. You know, something's coming back around. So if you're a female, Aries, you have a masculine that's in love with you and wants to, to work it out. You, on the other hand, I'm not quite sure where you're at because you're fully aware like you, it's like you don't even want to trust the dynamics right now. Nobody's putting in enough effort. Or maybe you put the effort in and they didn't, vice versa. It's, it's clear as day. And somebody already decided to have a conversation, apologize, like start, you know, opening up and talking, but hasn't done it because they're worried about how somebody else is going to feel. So you're stopping, again, you're stopping your own growth. Um, <clears throat> you're, you're letting past pain determine your future, unfortunately. You got talking, interested, conversating more, waiting for text messages, emails, you know, hovering, is it going to happen, is it not? You know, is it safe, is it not? And then you got the butterfly relationship evolving, going to the next phase. So, but you could also stop that because that's where the blockage is because you don't feel like it's safe. So you're you're in a you're in a pickle. You don't you don't trust something or somebody is not trusting you. You know, cause that outdated thinking conditioning, we're playing things over and over. See, you're just you're letting the past get the best of you. Some of you will leave the past and have something brand new yet you cross yet you cross so it's clock. All right. Heal. Progress. It was a karmic relationship, letting go, loving you, learning a lesson, moving forward. So this will happen. It just it needs a little time. If you're the cross watcher, I um, hang in there because this what you're what you're going through and how somebody is going about it is it's almost torture. You got seduction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. See what flirt? See, I don't like that. If you're a female, you just might start dating somebody new. Because you wouldn't go back into this trying to seduce somebody. Not when someone put you through a comic cycle. Like someone put you through their ringer with them. Made excuses. I gotta take time for me. Yeah, somebody probably did take a little time for them, but it's it's it not not the way the cards are showing. You know, it's 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 tough. So I don't know if this person thinks it's easier to just flirt with you, but again, watching stalking, gaslighting, you know, not showing their true feelings, what they want. This is somebody who's trying to tell you. I'm okay, acting like everything's okay on the outside, but it's like crumbling, like it's it's a mess, but I'm good, but not really telling you how they feel. I want to be with you, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm sad, but I'm not going to tell you. I've been holding on to this, but I'm not going to really tell you. You know, so this this energy wants new, all right, but is not moving forward right this second is going to, don't know where you'll be, but too worried about how somebody else is going to feel, how the arguments it's going to cause, and instead of being victorious and going after the one that your soul is telling you to be with. It's, tell me about unrequited love. So it's 
like taking a chance, being strategic, not showing your hand. So it's like you're not telling that person either. And then you got both, receiving what you need, moving on from closures. So it's it's coming. They're just stressed out. Tell me about this could be the one. Is that what it is? Yeah, this could be the one. But see, you you already know. You already know it's the one. You got hammer and love call. You know, you sabotage a situation. You want to work on it. You want to express how you feel. You're thinking about them. You want to let them know. But it, it, you're not quite doing that yet. You're in hermit mode. You know? It's like you know what you want, but you're not going after it because it's going to cause conflict with somebody from your past. Somebody who hurt you. And, and it's like you, you feel like you can't trust it. It's, it's, it's not safe. It's You're letting past pain literally stop your own happiness right now. It's tough. So please, 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 please don't do that. You got to move forward. You already have an image, a fantasy, a thought, a, a dream. Something's already telling you. And it's like you're not listening to your gut. There's got to be some health issues going on. <clears throat> I actually want to um, just being near you is intoxicated. I left you before you can leave me. You know, um, and then right over here, it slid right on the, the karmic as I was about to go. We both know I'm not the one for you. We needed to let each other go. <clears throat> Holy shit. You and I were too young. <clears throat> I wish things could have been different. Let me see what this is up here. You were the best thing in my life. Can't stop thinking about you. I regret lying to you. So there's there's lies. There's there's all sorts of stuff that somebody is just kind of like keeping to themselves. That's that's why I said you gotta be real careful with the health issue. Yeah, I, I feel health being a, a big a big thing. Um, this flirt seduction. I don't think they're even gonna try to come at you like that. Right now, they're just kind of like watching. So I don't know if someone, there's like a icky motive here I don't like. Let's just look at this real quick and then I'll go to Patreon. <clears throat> yeah, see, it's like turning your back, wanting to win. Arguments, confliction, manipulation, games, making somebody wait. You're concentrated on your money. You got your walls up. It's like you don't know what to do. You're thinking about this energy, but yet it's just you're doing jack shit about it. So again, you know, you're about to lose an opportunity here to move forward, even though you have the foresight to see something. It's, it's again, refusing. Yeah, see, all you got to do is speak the truth. You got mutual love with somebody. But you're letting other energies get the best of you. Could be your past. You're having a hard time moving forward because of what somebody else is going to think. How they're going to react. Like, you're literally stressed out because you know you have to tell somebody something. That you've hid something from them or you're hiding it or you just didn't tell the full extent of the truth. You know, and in the process, a lot of people got hurt. You're hoping the truth will fix a situation. I hope for your sake that it does. Yeah, you got ascending, transitioning, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So you're trying to get it together. Just need honesty here. You just really need to be honest and tell somebody how you feel, what you want, the direction you're going in, instead of lying about the direction you're going in. <clears throat> lying to yourself, to other people. You're coming in as Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might want to watch water. You know, there's new love, there's separation, there's a soulmate. It's, you know, you can only get yourself out of this scenario. And right now you're not doing anything to do it, so... <clears throat> Yeah.
yeah, it's like moving forward, but then it's like you take one step forward and you take one step back. So hang in there. Take care of yourselves. You have to get over this fear. You have to let go of the past pain. You have to stop doing nothing about your situation. You, you got to cut ties. You got to clean up the mess you created. Looks like you're going to. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> you could be worried that somebody else, uh, you could be worried that this competition and someone doesn't love you enough and you know it's the one, but you're still not doing anything. And like I said before, this person can be like, they could work the other way too. You know, where it's like tricky, I want nothing to do with it. But this has got to be you doing nothing, staying stuck. Concentrated on work, money. Because this could be somebody that's like <clears throat> not even about to give you the second chance unless the truth comes out. You just, you're too concentrated on your, your damn finances. Like your walls are up. Like you, it's like. You don't want to get vulnerable. Like, you just, I, you know. So, you might have a, a loss here and, and somebody is going to go in a new direction. And it's just the way you had to learn something. We all learn in, in different ways, different times, you know. Yes, this is the best thing that ever happened to you. <clears throat> go easy on your ass. You know, um. This is like saying there's not enough self-love, self-worth, self-discipline. It's like you're only disciplined in certain areas and that's just not going to cut it. You know, so <clears throat> that's like insecurities too. Someone got you to the point where it's like they brought you down instead of built you up. And it's like you're holding on to it. But this is spirit also being like, stop fucking whining. You know, own your shit. You know, no one wants to hear you complain. Complaining makes you weak. Have the strength to change your own world. You know? Like, I, that's exactly what I've been saying. You can only get yourself out of this. Don't let somebody else's past pain stop what you want, how you feel. Like, it, it's just like, whoo, it's turmoil. It, it's like, stop. And that's like victim mentality, too. You know, like, I was the victim to this. And it's like, no, I'm sure you played that game plenty of times. This is a game. You know, it just came back around. It's just, it's a shit show. Just all I could say is take care of yourself. Honestly. What do you want? Stop worrying about what somebody else is going to think. That's your biggest problem here. How somebody else is going to react. It's, you're worried. You're stressed out. You're so stressed out about an outcome. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you on Patreon. Bye.